I'm Molly Graven. I'm Jacob Graven. We're in Kernersville, North Carolina. We're here to talk about our son, Mason. So I had had a normal pregnancy um, up until I turned about 36 weeks. I got diagnosed with a condition. Um, so they decided to go ahead and induce me early. I go into the hospital. Everything's still fine. Baby looks great. Um, so they started the induction process the next morning um, and everything was going good until the afternoon. I felt like something didn't feel right. Felt like I was maybe having a stroke. Um, the doctors came in and saw me. They were concerned as well, so they took me to a C-section. Um, everything seemed like it went fine. Um, I hear baby cry. Everything's good. Um, and then the next morning, we wake up and you know we're just having breakfast. You know spending time with our new baby and we take off his hat and I mean that night I had noticed it too like he had all this bruising so the doctor came in that morning um, I could tell something was off he had just seen Mason and examined them and he came back and told whenever he came to talk to us he said like his font fontanelle was full um, and you know he was like you know how he was fussy overnight and he wouldn't eat and all these things and talking past tense so at that point i like thought mason had died in that hour i didn't see him well then he um said well we took him to a ct scan and he has skull fractures and brain bleeds in his brain and we're gonna have to transfer him to another hospital they decided to transfer him to um, another hospital that was close by because they had like the high intensity um, neonatal unit. So I just remember them having Mason and like the little incubator and then like I had to stay back at the hospital while he was being transferred and because I was having my blood pressure was high and the doctor wanted to keep me there for like a day. So. He, so Mason goes over to the new hospital, um, and then I just, like, receive updates, you know, through the nurses and through, like, Jake went over to the hospital. He was able to follow him over there. It's, um, uh, it's a hard decision. Wife or baby, you gotta make, I went with the baby, and then bounce back and forth, giving updates. So Mason was born early February and spent 64 days in the neonatal unit and finally came home like early April. It was probably about a month or two after we finally got Mason home that I started thinking, you know, like how did I go through this whole pregnancy? I was only 22 and everything was perfectly fine and then I had a baby with skull fractures and brain bleeds in a NICU so I literally went online and typed in birth injury um, in the Google search bar and I remember this website popping up I think it was called injuryfrombirth.com went in the chat box and I typed up everything that had happened I guess um, with Mason and I want to say within an hour I received a phone call from one of the lawyers from Lisa's firm um, and as soon as I spoke with her I mean she got the ball rolling like it was I got all this information sent over they started you know sending they came to see us the next week yes they flew in <laughs> to see us almost, it was pretty immediate. Like we got to meet them. Um, and I just remember the day that Lisa, I got the call from Lisa that they were gonna take our case. That was such an answer, you know, like to our prayers, you know, thank goodness that finally we're getting um, what Mason deserves. In the end, we ended up settling, um, which was, it ended up great for us not having to go to court. 
Um, and that's really what we wanted. We just wanted to make sure Mason was taken care of. Um, and we just want to thank Grant Eisenhofer so much for everything they've done. And Lisa, they've just been such a great team to work with. Um, it's almost, you know, it's not even that they're just, they ended up our lawyers, like they're our friends. We still stay in touch with them and keep them in touch with Mason. And they love seeing, even we have a two-year-old too, Henry, and they love staying updated on both of our kids. And it just makes us feel so good. And we just know Mason's so loved.